It's day seven of 30 days of sketches. If you're new here, my name is Emily and I love to paper craft. I'm a scrapbooker, rubber stamper, card maker, and junk journaler. Today I'm working with a sketch by Maggie. Her YouTube channel is called Paper to Pages and I'll link to that down in the description. 30 Days of Sketches is hosted by Christy of Christy's Beautiful Life. I'll link to her channel in the description as well, and along with a playlist of all the other YouTube creators who are participating and sharing their takes on this wonderful sketch by Maggie. The sketch calls for a large circle in the background. And since I'm featuring a photo of my sister playing the harp, I chose some music paper. There's plenty of this paper left over, so I will save it and use it. Use it again, I'm sure. She is playing at an event called Harp Gathering. Harp Gathering colors are green, orange, and yellow. So I've put her photo on a yellow photo mat and I'm incorporating orange music notes that I punched with this music note punch. And the background is a beautiful green. I'm going to use Mode Lawn Distress Oxide to ink the edges of this circle and the edges of the photo mat. I need a page title, so I'm thinking about that. We may add the page title last. I think I'll use these letter stickers, these kind of medium size, and make the page title say Harp Gathering, but we'll add that last. We'll go ahead and get things added here. This is my Scotch ATG my favorite scrapbook adhesive. The refills last a long time and are quite affordable. I'm going to use art glitter glue to adhere the music notes there for a, a detailed spot of glue like what's needed for these music notes. I think the art glitter glue is, is a perfect tool and it dries clear. So that's rather nice. Harp gathering is an event that my sister and brother-in-law have hosted for more than a dozen years and Audrey and I like to go and enjoy the music there and visiting just the wonderful harpists and I always come back with some photos to scrapbook and kind of really enjoy getting the memories added to scrapbook pages. I like to add little photo corners and so I'm going to put music notes on a couple of these corners. Draw the eye into the photo. Now for that page title. Something I like to do is start at the end, like instead of starting at the front of the word and not sure if I'm gonna run out of space, I'll start at the end and spell backwards so that, you know, I'm more concerned about where the word ends so that it doesn't fall off the page than where it begins. 
I can write the word down on, on a, a little scratch piece just to make sure. Because sometimes when I spell backwards, I misspell. <laughs> so I've got the letters there and that'll help me make sure that I get them correctly. But no guarantees, I may still make a mistake. <laughs> it's been known to happen. It's been known to happen. With paper, there's always a way to fix it or cover it up. So I don't worry too much. This is a sticker sheet from Basic Gray and it says 2013. And I've hardly used any of these. So when I'm shopping, I am often attracted to letter stickers, but I don't really need any. I'm just going to add an outline to these music notes. I think it will look cute, make them stand out a little more. date on this layout and say the month and year and I'm feeling like it needs a page border I've been doodling page borders recently and something about just finishing the page off a little bit with a border this marker is just about worn out it's seen its better days so after this border, uh, it's going in the trash. But it's good for one last dance. It's not really a black, it's kind of a, a brownish, but definitely seen its better days, but it was a good run. Keep on scrapping and paper crafting, everyone. <laughs>